On today's video, I plan to show you the kitchen that I built in my Sienna. It goes full width across the width of the car. It's in three sections. There's a stove section, a utensil section, and the last bit of this countertop hides the refrigerator. Usually when I travel, I have a bungee cord that goes across the top and latches down so that the, the tops don't rattle. So let me pull out the kitchen and I'll show you kind of what's there. Well, first, let me show you what's in some of these drawers. Um, once the kitchen's fully out, it makes it hard to actually open them all the way because of the, the doors in the way. So in this drawer, I have a lid, egg poachers, little pots, hot mitts, egg cooker, toaster, spatula. The next drawer are a couple of pots. There's a small one for heating water, cooking oatmeal, a little bit bigger pot. And that one is a handleless one, which has the handle that's in the upper cabinet where the utensils are. And then lastly, this bottom drawer has a couple of plates. Uh, inside of this pot, there are some bowls and there's a drinking glass, a couple of mugs, and underneath this rag is the espresso cooker. Espresso maker, I guess it's not a cooker. And some granola. Anyway, so there's, the, there's that bit of the kitchen. Now I can pull it out so I can show you the rest of the, the kitchen here. Uh, the lower kitchen, lower cabinet has the propane tank. It's a half size squat propane tank, so it's kind of full size diameter, but short. Probably wouldn't get that big of a tank the next time if I were to do it over again, because I have traveled like three months nonstop and haven't had to fill the tank. So it's it's really nice to not have to worry about getting gas, but it does take up space. And then to access the back side of the tank, I finally added this back door. And so that way I can get to the to items that I can stash behind the propane tank. I also have a windscreen that I got from Jeff at Amazon. Um, so this goes around the stove when the stove is set up. Pull the stove open. So this, this space in here, the windscreen that I bought will just stand up in there and does a great job. It's not windy today, so I won't need it. All these doors, my cabinet doors, I have these little tiny little hinge things. They're really great because you can, you can actually do a tightening on the, on the screw and, and set tension, how tight you want that to, to stick. The stove itself, I built a rack for spices. And they're these really squat little jars. But this has a flap on the front that I fit between the handle and the top. So all my spices are right there above my stove when I'm cooking. This little strip of wood I use to extend the countertop. I have, let me show you. So I built this extended countertop and I used a piano hinge because I didn't have a lot of space. So this piano hinge uses up like maybe a quarter of an inch and that's it. So I, when I pull it up, I have this bar, piece of wood, the wedges on the, on the end. And then there's a little metal bracket here and a little metal bracket on the top. Originally I had some fancy little gizmo that I used on that, but I found a piece of woodwork just as well. So that's the kitchen with the countertop extended. Inside of the kitchen, here is the the last countertop. Is the fridge? It's a Dometic forty quart. 
has a small compartment which doesn't get really cold. I keep eggs and things like that. Anything you don't want to freeze can go in here and down in the bigger section. Uh, I get ice, things like that. I have a thermostat that I keep to try to try to monitor the, the temperature in the fridge because the actual outside thermometer on the fridge itself really isn't what's going on inside the stove inside the, the, the fridge. Part of the part of the pantry of the van are these drawers. And these have my little trusty little latches and the magnet, super magnet that I put on the bottom. Well, I think that one, maybe that one doesn't have it. No, those don't have it. Okay. They're pretty tightly wedged. So I guess I didn't need them on those. But anyway, so this, these drawers, both both drawers come full, full slide out. And then I can access all the food that I have. And I originally had little brass, little bars that went there and they didn't hold up to the tasks and broke those. So I ended up having to add these little, these little locking bars. So what I usually do to get to the kitchen, to the pantry is I just lift up the bed, which is much easier. And I can just set a latch. This is one of my favorite cookers. This is a little rice cooker that uh, my buddy Gustav told me about. And I wanted to make sure that I mentioned him. Anyway, so he, uh, he's got the, the rice cooker club. So there's a bunch of us that have these little rice cookers. They're a little 12 volt. They run about 100 watts and it takes less than an hour to, to cook a pot of rice. What I love to do is, is cook a pot of rice and then I'll throw one of these like food in a pouches on top of it, mix it in after the rice is done and give it a few minutes to warm up again and, and then it's ready to eat. So that's the pantry. Close the, well, I don't need that close. The other part of the kitchen. So usually I'm standing out just outside the door here and just inside the door within easy reach are my cooking oils and salt and pepper some chili oil, tamari sauce. So that's everything there that's accessible for the, the kitchen. I have a hose that I connect to the solar tube. So as soon as I camp, I pretty much set this hose up and then I can just turn the, turn the faucet from the kitchen. If I need to put some, like I've got a dirty pot, I just want to throw some water in. I just turn the valve, put some water into it, and I'm good. That That's what I decided after I took out the the kitchen sink, originally there was a kitchen sink here. I took that out because I just didn't use it enough to make it worth its while. I think that is the kitchen.